Hi. So this is Kemoro. Today I'd like to talk about how to implement the Firebase cloud messaging using Android uh, Jetpack Compose. So this is inspired by this YouTube video. So I almost take the implementation from this uh, video uh, from this SL uh, Dorit Rodriguez, thanks to him. However, I, uh, I modify a little bit of the code and also I'm going to show you how to go, how to actually integrate it with the Firebase uh, uh, from to reproduce this result. So let's begin. So I already pro created a cloud messaging project and also enabled the messaging here. So here I added already the two apps. One is iOS, another is Android. So here I already added a uh, Android apps. However, I'm first. I'm here. I'm going to remove this app to just reproduce what I did here. So this is a project. This is you can just uh, get clone this one, or even if you gonna implement by yourself, it's quite simple. I'm just sh uh, showing uh, the folder structure. This is the main activity. Uh, basically, you have one. Uh, this screen. This screen is here under the view uh, folder, uh, view view package. Here, this screen is basically you have a launched effect, and also you have a permission state, and you also have uh, this uh, show notification dialog. This is a state, a remember state, mutable state of uh, false. If this is true. Uh, this means I need to uh, show the notification. Okay, so and this is a screen, and here is a component. Component is basically the dialog for the to to ask the user for the permission if the this app can send you the notif uh, push notification. So this is sort of core uh, service. Service. This service is extended Firebase messaging service, like this. And here, I'm overriding two function on new token and on messaging received. So inside of this function, uh, I didn't I didn't modify anything from this uh, YouTube uh, original code. However, I'm uh, remove few of the button of his implementation to make it more simple even. So this once this uh, application is launched, uh, I will automatically uh, ask the user for the permission. If user allow permission, uh, whenever I trigger or create a messaging uh, this uh, campaign, you're gonna see the notification on your screen. So let's begin. So first, like I said, uh, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this uh, GMS Google Services to. So don't forget to add this in your build or gradle, uh, in your root. And in the application level, root gradle, you have a Firebase messaging and notification permission. So don't forget, uh, you can just go to my Git, GitHub and just copy and paste this. Uh, this uh, most uh, more or less up to date. Uh, so please just copy and paste. So after that, I'm going to add my app to my project. Let's go to project setting and add up. Okay, so I'm back to here. So let's go to add up this Android. So this package name is, of course, you should take it from manifest, as I remember correctly. I just forgot where, where that even my This one, I'm sorry. So in the application Gradle file, count example that this for in my case. And this SHA one, I'm going back, I'm, I'm gonna back to here in a second. So just read this app, right? So download and config file. So go to the project here. So you need to just cop, uh, paste this in here. Okay, Google Search. First, I'm going to remove this. OK. 
Okay, so this one is fine, right? So I just added the Google services to JSON. Uh, just don't remember, uh, don't forget to change this project back to Android. So here I added this and then I already added the dependencies and this I already added. So just go and just go to the console, right? So here in your Android apps, uh, I need to add a fingerprint. So fingerprint, <laughs> I need to add two of them. So to, to get a fingerprint, you go to the Gradle and this task enjoy sign report. So by the way, this is only for the debugging purpose. If you go to the production purpose, um, you will have a different char, uh, this kind of fingerprints. Since this one is basically in your development, you all the project share this uh, fingerprint so this only for the only for the development but for the production you have a uh, assigned by the Google uh, you have a fingerprint so don't don't use this for the production so SHA1 this one just add it automatically detect, detects this SHA1 this is the SHA256 SHA256 So like this okay once it's done you're already almost good to go I think so let's go messaging so new campaign notification enter um, test for control this is a message from Firebase So something like this. So this is the same registration token. So if you test, you need this. How to get this? I already added the code in the main activity. So once the application, this activity is created, uh, it take the token from this task. Firebase messaging get instance token to add on completion listener and on complete listener on complete if it's successful I'm um I'm showing the FCM token to string. So let's try to do that app. Here I'm building my app on my device. So once it's built, look at oh, this one, right? So I just sent a test message here. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't screen record. So I actually I got my message here. So here, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it again. This one I just check that just token that I got and test. So test for Android. Good. This is a message from Firebase. So that's it. This is a test is already passed. So why don't I just go here and next schedule just send now and again review publish. Fingers crossed. Again, this one might take a little bit of time. This for Android 2. Okay, so this is the message for 2. 
Okay, I'm sorry, probably I need to add this tutorial campaign. Can I duplicate this? Okay. Once I duplicate this, I go here. Tutorial. Schedule. Ah, I'm sorry, that uh, topic. Because this one is Firebase Messaging Subscribe to Topic Tutorial. Okay, so 59 and I received right here. Okay, this is very good. So right now I tested everything. So I can trigger the messaging from the current messaging, uh, this uh, new campaign. So congratulations. So this is the end of this tutorial. So I successfully uh, implemented the Firebase Cloud Messaging to the Android app. Um, so Firebase made it made the things so easy for the developer to implement this uh, very powerful uh, Cloud Messaging push notification to your original project. So don't be afraid and don't hesitate to think, uh, thinking of implement this in your in your own project. So uh, I'm posting this kind of video to to do the prototyping and just I'm shy to cut the, this kind of functionality uh, in the short, uh, in a very as small as possible. So if you have any question, please ask me any question. Or if you like this video, please like this button and uh, make some comment or subscribe this channel. So. Uh, let's uh, let's see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.